Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to write your first script on the STM32 Blue Pill module in the Arduino IDE. By the end of it, you will have a program that will just simply blink the onboard LED on the device. As you could see here, it is blinking about every second. And I'll be giving you the tools after that to go and write any program you want on this device in the Arduino IDE. Now, the only thing you need to follow along with this tutorial is of course the device pre-soldered. And we also need another uh, module that is a USB to TTL converter, because unfortunately we cannot upload code straight to the USB inputs on the device. Like we do with an Arduino Nano, we need a third party component. And I'll link that as well in the description down below. And I'll also be showing you in this tutorial how to connect that part to the STM32. So don't worry, everything will come together. I'll be showing you the physical connection for the converter to the device. And I'll be showing you how to install the, the program we need. We actually need a third party STM32 programmer, which we get from their website as well. And we need the Arduino IDE with some libraries to actually finally upload the code to this device. So don't worry guys, I'll make it nice and simple. Just follow along and by the end of it, you will have the capability to write your first Arduino script and write many Arduino scripts after that by following this tutorial. So enough being said, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, make sure you have the USB to TTL module, as we mentioned. This is the one I'm utilizing for this video today. Really, there are some other ones, but I really like this one, highly rated and very low cost. And once you have this module, what you can do after that is you can simply connect it exactly as I have in this diagram. So we just wanna take four jumper wires. So make sure you have some jumper wires as well. Pretty standard when you're doing these sorts of projects. And you just want to take the four jumper wires and connect them respectively, as you could see here. So VCC to VCC on the STM32, followed by ground to ground to power on the device. And then you have the TXD to RXD, TXD to PA10 on the device, and then RXD to PA9. And this will allow you to interact with the UART interface on the device to actually upload code and do operations on the STM32. So once you have those jumper wires, make sure to plug into power. So that's just a standard USB input. So once you plug that into power, you should see a light on the board turn red. So that means everything is working properly and you should be good to go in terms of the connection. Okay, so nice thing we want to do as well is we want to take the two pins in the yellow area of our STM32 and we want to arrange them like this. You see that we have one parallel in the top right there and then one parallel on the bottom left there. And this is just to put the device in a mode, a UART uploader mode or UART bootloader mode where you can actually configure the device so you can upload code to it. So be sure to do this as well or else the uploading will not work. And let's move on to the Arduino side of things to see what we need there to be able to co configure and connect to the board in Arduino. All right, so next thing we want to do after we have the physical setup, we just want to go to the Arduino IDE as we mentioned. And the first thing we want to do is once we're in the Arduino IDE, we're going to install the third party boards manager for the device. So go to the settings here on the top left and go ahead and paste this URL in the additional boards managers URLs area and click okay. Now I will link this URL in the description below because it is a, a long URL and this will allow us to actually install the third party package to interact with the board. So go ahead and click okay. And once you click okay, you should be able to go to this area here, the boards manager, search STM32 and select the STM32 MCU baseboards by STM Electronics and go ahead and install it. You see, I already have it installed. This allows you to interact with this board and various other STM32 based boards. Finally, once we have that, we just want to go to the tools on the top and we want to configure a couple of things here. So first let's configure the actual board. So we're just gonna go here go to STM32 MCU base boards and select generic STM32 F1 series. Next, we're going to select the appropriate port. So make sure your device is plugged in and you should be able to see this. And then we just want to select that we are communicating with it over serial. So we can go here and select the upload method. And then we can also, the last thing we need to do as well is select the board part number. So we are using the F103C8 version of the board. So you can go ahead and select that. Of course, there are many other versions. So if you are using a slight variation, you should be able to find it here as well. So that's all the configuration we need in the Arduino IDE side of things. Now, before we can actually hit upload, there's one more step we need, and we need a third party program from STM Electronics, which is their programmer. And I'll show you how to download that next. Okay, so in order to install the programmer, just be sure to go to their website and find the STM32Q programmer. 
That's also linked down in the description below or in the blog below. And once you're there, you can go to the bottom and actually install the software. So be sure to have an account and everything is free. They do not ask for any credit card information and go ahead and walk through the steps to install the software for your operating system. I did Mac, I already installed it. I'm not going to go through the steps, it's pretty intuitive. So go ahead and click latest, get latest and just walk through the steps and install it on your system. And once you have that, the next thing you want to do is you wanna be sure it's added in the environment path. Now, I, I listed steps in the blog below for, for Windows, but for Mac, you simply just want to go to the Bash profile and be sure that exports for the path is here. Now, if you install it, it should be there, but sometimes it's not. So make sure that this path is here, the STM32 program path, so the Arduino IDE can find it and be able to upload code to the device. And we can just go ahead and quit this. And then once we have that, we just want to source the Bash profile to be able to ensure that our system can find that path. So we can go ahead and click enter there. This is in the terminal on a MacBook. Once again, Windows, it's a little different. I have some light description in the blog down below if you are on Windows. However, it should be not that difficult, hopefully. If you are having issues, let me know in the comment section. So now that we have that, the next thing we want to do is we simply want to upload code to the device. Now, in order to upload code to the device, we simply go back to the Arduino IDE and we want to hit the small reset button on the device because we have to do this at, before every upload. So there is a small reset button. It explicitly says reset. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that button. And you can see nothing is happening on my device right now after I hit reset. So it is in the base mode. So it has no program running on it right now. If I go ahead and if I did everything properly, what I should see is if I upload this program, which this is a very simple program, by the way, I did not go over this code. We're just setting up the serial communication and we're just setting the pin we are communicating to. And we are printing connecting to server. We don't really need this, this was something else I was working on. And simply what we're doing is we are activating the onboard pin. And half a second later, we are turning off the pin and then half a second later, we are turning on the pin again. So that's all we're doing. So if everything was successful, you should see this in the output logs. And you can also add some serial monitor logging as well to be sure that's working. So that's why I added that before, by the way, just for debugging purposes, really, you don't need that. To be sure that it's working, you can look at the device and it should be blinking. So it looks like we walked through all the steps to actually be able to upload our first script on the device. And now you should have all the tools you need to really upload any script you want on the STM32 in the Arduino IDE. So there you have it everyone, our first program on the STM32. Really, we just did that in a matter of a few simple steps. And now we have all the tools to write really any program we want on this device in the Arduino IDE. If you learned something new or you got this working for you, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. I know we went over a lot fast and typically people's operating systems differ. So some people may have certain issues, others are not having. Just know that a lot of, a lot of description and a lot of information is in the blog down below. So if you are confused, you can use that to follow along as well. Stay tuned until next time, guys. I will see you later.